some bits. Some bits are missing. It's Zach. I wonder who this man is. Sir so Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. But in fact, you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, well, yes, that is right. He raised a scandal about the Mayan calendar, so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Oh. All the items are from our club members. but only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystoke. Ah, uh, yes. But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death. Guatemala, 1881. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. The photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it.
Zacharias Greystoke. I wonder who this man is. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. It appears that part has been painted over. I need to find out what's underneath. Let's try to remove the paint with solvent. Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. Aha, uh -huh. there's another person in the photograph. Is there anything I can do to help? Look here. There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. But it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America! Brilliant, Watson! Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim. But I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. At your service, Mr. Holmes. I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Albiot. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias. And there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. By the way, He's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Albeit was a club member, where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. Poor Sir Charles. Mr. A Bernard Marley, is I it's a My name is Sherlock thing. Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Keaton Street. I'm not expecting anyone. Possum Street. Cranny Street. 
Excuse me, where is Grub Street? I don't know. Keaton Street. Hello there, my man. Is your boss in? Ah, oh, he's in his office. It's the door near the female statue in the corner of the workshop. Mr. Holmes. You must forgive my escape at the club. It wasn't a safe place to talk. And it's safer here? Yes, better here. Not my office. I have secured my foundry, you know. Ah, huh. reassuring. Did you know Zacharias Greystoke the victim? Yes, he was a brave friend. Such good karma until yesterday. Do you recognize the unwell man in this photograph? By Jove, albeit. Yes, that's him. The poor fellow met his end in Guatemala. He was struck down by a terrible disease. You were friends? Not really, but he was an active member and a courageous man. Too courageous. You can't fight against the Kiche gods. And what of the expedition? You were seeking a Mayan temple? Yes, the temple of Tekun Uman. Another one of Charles' stupid ideas. We found it, but there was some kind of strange force that prevented us from entering. An evil aura. It was Tekun Uman's emanation. We could all feel it. Albeit its disease worsened suddenly, there was nothing we could do. And now, with Zacharias' death, the curse has reawakened. After 14 years? Prophecies are timeless. Even in the beyond, there is no escape. Did Zacharias believe in the prophecy? It is not a matter of belief. Don't you understand? Zacharias was convinced that he could stop the curse by studying the calendar. What insanity. Hmm. He sent me a message. He wanted us to visit the club and try to convince Charles to remove the calendar from the award ceremony. But you didn't go. I knew Charles would refuse. Anyway, studying the calendar wouldn't help. Tekun Uman is far too powerful. Your relationship with Charles Yellingham is... Not friendly. Well, it is reciprocal. You know, most of his expeditions are failures because he is too focused on his hypothetical career to be in politics. He has political ambition. Well, that would be an understatement. He has ambitions for the House of Lords, and the club is his means of achieving this. It's also the reason for his disastrous management. But he still succeeds in finding money. I wonder how? What's your opinion on Takunuman's statue having disappeared? 
I don't know, but I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. But in fact, you do. You made the statue. That's true. But it was ten years ago. You can't blame me for that. Don't you think so? After all, it is the statue that is responsible for killing. No! It's Takun Umar. But who could imagine that a simple statue replica would be chosen by Takun Umar? Nobody. I have to leave you now. I've got paperwork to do. And we've spoken too much. He could hear us. Takun Umar. Well, goodbye then. Apparently, Mali has built multiple statues of Takun Umar. Something large and heavy was dragged here. Fresh scratches. There were two large boxes. There were two large boxes. A drawing of Takun Umar. This mechanism is quite modern. All the gears are of good quality. Strange to find it in a foundry. No oxidation. This metal arm has never been outside. It's not part of the bowling club statue. Two large boxes which were inside the warehouse. They were taken to Bernard Marley's office. It's probable that the missing crates contained pieces of Takun Umar's statue. Marley is hiding something inside his office. I'll have to visit it, but at night, and with Watson. Caitlin's at Miss Alice's, playing the piano, she disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. But... I can't help myself. I must open this letter. I need to turn on the gas burner first. It would be easier to open this letter if I steam it. Let's prepare. Boil water in kettle. I need to open it with something sharp. Miss Alice planned to live here because of me. 
I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. Let's reseal it as if it was never open. Let's reseal it. That's it. Don't stop playing, Kate. I'm going to take some air on the balcony for a few minutes. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. She's on the balcony. How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice! Come back in! I can do it! See? <laughs> You're wonderful! I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secrets, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. Ah, Holmes, I entirely forgot. There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. And we can visit him. But you should disguise yourself first. I'll introduce you as my colleague. 